it turns out that creating a new car in the image and likeness of the previous one is not so simple. The Japanese honestly tried to fix the bad and make the good even better. But it turned out, alas, worse. The 8th Accord, CU Index, turned out to be more complicated and more expensive. At the same time it lost the outward dashing and youthfulness of the 7th generation model. And by the 10th anniversary, the G8 generates a hefty list of necessary and not the cheapest restoration work, which, after the previous Accord, was noted much less frequently by the same date. Accord I Generation Produced from 1976 to 1981, the Accord debuted as a front-wheel drive compact hatchback with 1.6L and 1.8L engines. A year later, a sedan joined him. In addition to the manual transmission, a two-speed automatic was offered. And for a surcharge, you could order a power steering and air conditioning. Accord II Generation Produced from 1981 to 1985, the second Accord was the result of the modernization of the first, the engines were given more power, and a four-speed automatic transmission appeared. In addition to Japan, the car began to be assembled in the USA. It is curious that the world's first car navigator, the electro-gyricator system, appeared here. Accord three generation, produced from 1985 to 1989, starting with the three-ruble note, thanks to the new platform with two-link suspension, sports inclinations began to appear. A coupe appeared in the lineup, and under the hood of the most powerful versions, a 2.0-liter 160-horsepower engine. Honda Accord 4 generation produced from 1989 to 1994. The car moved into the class of medium-sized. The coupe disappeared, and the three-door station wagon gave way to a utilitarian five-door wagon. Power above 150 horsepower did not rise, and in some markets a fully controlled chassis was offered. Honda Accord V Generation 1993 to 1998. There was a division into versions, European and for the USA and Japan. In Europe, it was exclusively a five-door hatchback, on whose basis the Rover 600 was built. The range of engines includes engines from 1.8 to 2.3 liters. The most powerful developed 190 horsepower. Honda Accord 6th generation produced from 1997 to 2002. With the 6th generation, the model differences across markets have only intensified. There were already three different Accords. The coupe has reappeared in the US. And for the Type R version, they began to supply a powerful 2.2-liter engine that produces a maximum of 220 horsepower. Honda Accord of the 7th generation got rid of the hatchback body and acquired a station wagon. The car was considered extremely successful. The American version, by tradition, was somewhat larger than the Japanese. On sedans and coupes, engines 2.6, 160 to 166 horsepower, or B6 3.0, 240 to 246 horsepower, were installed. Differences in the markets continued to torment Honda, even had to curtail production in the UK. But in the USA and Canada, Accords began to be sold under the name Acura TL, American version, and Acura TSX, European modification. Honda Accord 8 generation 2008 to 2012. Accord becomes even larger, the range of engines is expanding, a 2.2 turbo diesel with a capacity of 150 and 180 horses appears. On the basis of the restyled sedan in 2010, the cross tour station wagon was built. Honda Accord 9 generation appeared in 2012. In Russia, the model was sold until 2015, but it became unprofitable for us. Modifications Universal Honda Accord Released since 2008. It was not officially delivered, but there are few cars on the market from Europe and the USA. Honda Cross Tour Released since 2009. Cross Tour all-wheel drive off-road hatchback, created on the basis of a sedan with a V6 3.5 petrol engine, 275 horsepower, and a 5-speed automatic was brought to Russia in the spring of 2011. The car, to put it mildly, was in moderate demand. In fairness, we admit that most of the troubles are related to the features and place of operation. The car is still strong, but local costs, the discipline of service, the quality of oil and fuel, are doing their disastrous work. Yes, and the image of the Accord does not encourage its owners to a measured and thrifty ride. And yet, the car has a fair, and very, margin of safety. The 2-liter 150 horsepower R20 engine, although it drives a heavy car purely in a pensioner's way, was not noticed in unprovoked technical whims. 
the 2.4-liter K24 engine is also a match for him, in fact, a standard of aspirated. However, its design is somewhat more complicated. Paired with an automatic, and we did not offer other versions, it will not provide an advantage in dynamics over the R20. In addition, this engine is inferior to its 2-liter counterpart in fuel efficiency and maintenance costs. If the first serious symptoms calling for immediate prevention of engine health appear only after 150 to 200,000 kilometers, then both transmissions, mechanics, and automatic, with a timely oil change, often do not get sick even longer. The problem of the AKP is its inhibition, which will have to be put up with. But it will be more difficult to put up with other features. The car is heavy, which leads to the rapid consumption of brake pads, 6,300 rubles for the original set, and discs. 5,500 rubles per piece. Moreover, cheap non-original pads, such as harder ones, will gobble up discs twice as fast. Already by 80,000 kilometers, the steering rack will begin to make noise. Its price at the dealer is more than $600, the reconstruction will cost three times less. And after 80,000 kilometers, a play appears in the ball bearings, 3,800 rubles. Separately, only the front lower support can be replaced the upper one goes along with the lever. The storm of indignation is caused by prices. For example, the native upper arm with the ball joint front can pull $250, and a similar rear pair can pull under $450. Surely upset the rear springs, about $200, which sag even up to 100,000 kilometers. It is worth keeping a close eye on the anthers of drives that do not like frost and burst. Gone are the days of ideal Japanese bodies. Now these are massive chips on the front of the body, thin paintwork and corrosion. By the age of 10, she will probably settle under the seals, along the edges of the doors and in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B hatch. The latter, by the way, has a constructive miscalculation. After three to four years, creases appear on the roof around it. But inside, everything is somewhat more optimistic. The materials are high quality and the comfort is excellent. Fabric upholstery is much more durable than leather, and the rattling rear shelf can be pulled up. Do not think that we deliberately whipped up pessimism. No, the Accord is a solid and quite reliable car. You just need to look at it when you buy everything. Spare parts are sometimes inexplicably expensive, and cheap substitutes don't always sell here, if you know what we mean. But Accord will safely store the money invested in it. It's getting cheaper. Transmission the five-speed automatic transmission works flawlessly with regular oil and filter changes. Sometimes it can scare with the howl when starting from a place or a buzz in second and third gears. There is no need to be afraid, this is not a breakdown. But our choice is MCP-6. Even in the hands of daredevils, it may require minor repairs, replacement of synchronizers, only after 200,000 kilometers. It can be seen that Honda has deeply implemented its sports developments. Engine. A timing chain replacement can cost $400 labor plus the same amount for the sprocket chain. However, a common problem with both engines was gentle catalysts. Cold starts and driving in traffic jams provoke chipping and dust after 150,000 kilometers, which entail accelerated wear of the piston group. By the way, the cooling radiator, 12,500 rubles, here does not tolerate a high-pressure washer. It's worth keeping this in mind. Suspension you can't call a particularly durable suspension. The resource of shock absorbers, 7,500 rubles, is up to 60,000 kilometers. Often you have to change ball joints. In addition, the fasteners of the multi-link and weak tubular levers corrode at the back, which provokes, if you jump through the pits and ride on large discs, regular control of the suspension geometry. Wheel bearings, 3,500 rubles, may require replacement after 100,000 kilometers body. There are many complaints about the quality of the color of the sedan. Chips in the front of the body and underfilm corrosion nearby must be immediately eliminated. The roof area under the upper windshield molding is vulnerable. Moreover, when the red is shown from under the rubber, prevention is already powerless. This and many other problems are simply painted over. Versions with the hatch are fraught with similar problems under the sealing gum. Electric. Motors are sensitive to the state of lambda sensors and ignition modules. Sometimes the engine management system is naughty. Treatment, remove the fuse for a minute. A failure of the Maiku is manifested by problems with the seat memory system, external and interior lighting. 
minor troubles with parking sensors are associated with not very reliable sensors. Pros and cons. Plus engines and gearboxes. Electrician. Interior finishing materials. Design. Comfort. Residual value. The quality of the paintwork. The cost of spare parts. Resource of the brake system. Individual suspension parts slash.